All right, in this problem, we've got two people, and they have allowances for doing chores each week. And here are the pay rates. The first person is paid $5 each week. I guess the name there is, is Anchi, $5 each week. And the other one, Jonah, is being paid $20 at the start, and then $3 each week, right? So here... Jonah is being paid less each week over the long haul, but initially it gets a higher fee or a higher payment. And here is the graph, right, indicating um, the payments as a linear function. And we're given a bunch of questions here, but don't be overwhelmed. This is just, uh, they're just trying to help you think about what all this data means. So the first thing they're asking us is, which line represents Jonah's earnings? Well, to figure that out, I might focus on the thing that is different about them. Joan is being paid $20 at the beginning, and Anchi is not. So that means that one of these lines will be at zero um, before the weeks actually start with the payments, and the other will be at 20. Now, the one that's at 20 must be Jonah's because he's being paid that amount, and that's this one right here. So I'm going to actually switch our colors we've used so far so we don't get that confused. So Anchi will be the pink line, and then, right, this is Anchi. And then Jonah is the other line, right here, Jonah. And again, I have to focus on that right here because of the y-intercept at 20, whereas the other one's at zero, and Jonah does get that upfront payment. So like, that's, you know, that's the biggest thing for me to figure that out, um, is the y-intercept, and you, you might focus on that when you explain. Write two linear equations to show the relationships between earnings and number of weeks. So for Jonah, right, let's start with that one. We have $20, your payment, plus $3 per week, x. So here, now I wrote Jonah equals that. More accurately, we should say that Jonah's wage or something, or total salary, equals this, right? And we can use different variables, but I use these, where y equals the earnings and x represents weeks. And that's it, right? Um, however, for Anchi's, it's quite, it's quite different, right? Here for Anchi, right, it equals, it's just a proportional relationship. It's just the salary, right? $5 times the number of weeks, x. So if she was working one week, it would be 5 times 1. Two weeks, 5 times 2. 10 weeks, 5 times 10, and so forth, whereas Jonah would be times 3, and then plus 20. In other words, it's $3 for every week, plus the $20 he made initially. That's how much earnings he has in total. Okay, in part C, they want to know what the values M and B in each equation uh, tell about the relationship between the number of weeks and dollars earned. Well, again, just to reiterate, here, the $5 on Anchi is the slope, M, that tells you how many dollars, right, and she earns per week. That's the that's the slope or the rate. And the same thing is true for Jonah, except it's how many dollars, right, M equals, right, how many dollars Jonah makes in a week. Now, for Anchi, the y-intercept is zero. And that zero, you might say, means there's no initial down payment. There's no initial payment. Now, and that means B equals zero, because B represents the starting, the starting earnings, right? Or the earnings at the start. Here, let me fix that arrow, sorry. This $20 represents the initial payment. So before you get paid for your weekly work, um, you're given uh, money up front. And as we scroll down, there's more. Fix this. Oh, I guess that's it. So, so that, yeah, that's just exploring these two. And notice what happens after 10 weeks here, these two lines cross, and that means they're equal. So if you were trying to figure out when they're equal, you can actually predict that by setting the equations equal to each other. And she uses 5x, right? And Jonah is 20x, 20 plus 3x. What's great is that you can just solve for x here, and you'll be finding the x value when these two things are equal, or 
In other words, find the number of weeks, x, when these two things are equal. Subtract 3x from both sides. And what happens now is this cancels out, and 2x equals 20, and there it is. x equals 10. So that tells you that in 10 weeks, the two salaries will in fact be equal. So, And then Angie's will surpass Jonah's salary after that. All right, hope this helped.